Plus, would you like a subpoena with that? Why the FBI just served Trump ally and my pillow CEO Mike Lindell and seized his phone as he sat in the drive through line at a Hardee's. A trip to Hardee's ends with an FBI visit. My pillow CEO and fierce Trump ally Mike Lindell says federal agents seized his cell phone in a fast food parking lot. Why? That's ahead. Okay, picture this. You're sitting in a fast food drive through and a swarm of cars surrounds your vehicle. Then FBI agents jump out and hit you with a subpoena. That's apparently what happened to my pillow CEO Mike Lindell at a Hardee's yesterday. Cars pulled up in front of us, to the side of us and behind us. And I said, um, these are either bad guys or the FBI. Well, it turns out they were the FBI. Lindell is a Trump ally, a prominent backer of his voter fraud claims. He says the FBI not only seized his phone, they questioned him about a Colorado clerk charged in a 2020 election security breach. Joining us now is CNN legal analyst Norm Eisen. He was House Judiciary Special Counsel in Trump's first impeachment trial. And also joining us is Renato Mariotti. He is a federal prosecutor, a former federal prosecutor and host of the On Topic podcast. Uh, great to have you both. Lots to discuss beyond the Lindell stuff. But let's start there, Renato. What's your reaction to Lindell getting the subpoena? Uh, well, very interesting. I think the seizure of his phone, which he's been complaining about, uh, really is a concern for Mr. Lindell. It means a judge signed a uh, warrant uh, indicating that there's probable cause to believe that a crime was committed and that evidence of that crime exists on his phone. So that's a very significant problem. And that questioning was not a friendly chat. That was the FBI trying to build evidence uh, against Mr. Lindell. Uh, just because they didn't read him as Miranda rights doesn't mean that that can't be used against him. Since he wasn't in custody, that wouldn't be expected. So they're definitely building a case, and he is at the very least an important witness, most likely a subject of that investigation. Are you surprised he was so nonchalant talking about how this all went down? Not surprised given who he is, but I, my advice to a client in that situation would be to say nothing, hire a lawyer, and exercise your right to remain silent, and clearly Mr. Lindell's not doing that.